Normally, when we dupe on Minecraft servers, we expect to be banned by the end of it. That's perfectly fine. We've joined the server, done some duping, made some noise. We were never going to be around forever. But the thing we fear most is being banned or caught before we can even destroy a server's economy. Loverfella is a successful SMP and Skyblock server, averaging about 300 players, bringing in almost 30,000 US dollars per month in revenue, owned by a very big Minecraft YouTuber. Their staff is so good it gives Purple Prison a run for their money. They have eyes everywhere, always watching. Such servers are notorious for being extremely difficult to dupe on. Press delay packets and press that daily key a bunch of times. So delay packets set to true and then spam left click it a bunch of times? Okay. And then undelay the packet. Okay. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, we got 11 though. Again. And then turn it off. Wow. It's that easy, huh? Completely unaware of the security of the server we had set foot in, we set out, as we normally would, to destroy Loverfella's economy. Little did we know what would be waiting for us. Listen, they have a UUID system. As soon as we dupe the shulker boxes, you have to take them and place them down immediately because the UUID will flag and they'll ban you. Right, okay. Oh my god, we just went from half a chest to like a double chest in a second. <laughs> oh, what the hell? What is... Loverfella's server is obviously pay to win. They have some very expensive ranks, even by pay to win server standards, amongst other perks. But that's not even my issue with them. My issue with them is the many crate and crate keys they sell, exposing their predominantly underage player base to pay to win gambling mechanics. Some players mindlessly sit at these crates, opening them over and over and over for hours on end. Okay, well, we filled up. I filled up this chest already again, then. Jesus, that was fast. Hi, we need sugar box. Yo, someone, someone, someone tried to buy a sugar box. These sell one for 100k? Yeah. Oh my god, we're gonna be rich. Oh my god. Wait, wait. Fine. Okay, uh, I have 20, I have 26 mil. Everything seemed to be going as normal. We used an exploit with the server shop plugin to dupe. First, we would set up chess shops to buy and sell specific crate key items to one another. Using a mod, we could delay the packets our clients sent to the server and spam click the sell button multiple times, even when we only had one of the item to sell. Re-enabling our packets sent all these sell packets to the server at once at the same time, telling the server we were selling an item every time. Since proper checks weren't in place for all these packets being sent at once, this allowed us to basically sell items which we didn't have to each other's chess shops, effectively generating new items out of thin air. And thus, we could dupe keys like crazy. You see what my name is? Look at the tab list right above Epic. Oh my gosh. Are you serious, Jupa? Wait, Jupa, tell me, when did you make this account? <laughs> Literally two seconds ago. I'm serious. Grab all of these. And fill up a shulker box entirely. No one come, Declan, Declan, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Fill up a shulker box. Can someone chop me a shulker box? Set it for one, one, one. Okay, so price is one, one, and then I'll buy it out of your shop, and then we'll, I'll dupe it. All right, guys. Whimsical is one for one right now in my shop. Okay, everyone place the whimsicals on the diamond blocks at the back, okay? It doesn't seem like it's working for me. I'm buying it and then it won't let me here. The server had some special plugin which would alert staff when certain items like shulker boxes had been duplicated through some sort of block ID or naming system. All right, shop should be updated. There is now a purple whimsical in my shop. Okay. Yep, I think you just... Yep, you... Oh, place them. Place them. I need help placing these. They're like... Yeah, okay. Like... Here's what I do. You you dupe them and I'll place them, okay? If we don't place them immediately, we're going to get caught by addons. It's lag? Is it me or the server lagging? I think it's the server. Just... It takes me like three attempts to place a shulker box right now. We hadn't experienced anything like this before, and little did we know, we were making a fatal mistake. You it seemed like harder with every attempt. Like, it just worked, but now it's, like, not at all. Yeah, I just tried it, like, six times, and it didn't work at all. Yeah, it didn't work it for me either. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. It's just quite... Okay, so it's just inconsistent. So I guess I tried a few times. Okay, I'll keep trying yours banned. tomorrow. Go for real? What? It's gonna I banned. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's... No, because, yeah, no. I just got... Okay, Declan also got perfect. Yeah, I got, I got banned oh, as well, I think. We had failed. The server had higher security than most, and we were likely being watched by some staff, completely unaware the entire time. So you got flagged because we had too many shulkers? Yeah, then they probably TPA'd to us. We had been outplayed, but we wouldn't give up that easily. There's literally a mod on right now. There's no way, bro. 20 times, and then Three delay package sure. off. Oh, and then no, did it, perfect. Did it yep, got it. We came back on fresh alts and duped some copper to get some quick money. 
And I just went from $3,000 to 160k, just like that. Brilliant. <laughs> Jupa, what are you building here? I built an enchanting setup. What are you on about? Do we need level 30? Because this is not going to get level 30. No, there's enough bookshelves. Dude, no, you don't understand. You blocked them off. It's not going to get... Oh my god. Have you played vanilla Minecraft before? What do you mean I blocked them off? Dude. If you open this, it's not going to be level 30. You have to actually make... Have you played... Want to bet? Want to bet? Want to bet? We can't open it yet. Don't break these. I will bet you $10 cash app or Venmo that it will be level 30. I have neither, but I'm willing to do that bet. Here, I'll check it. Just trust it's, it's me. Level, it's level 11, bro. It's level 11. Jupa Trooper, there you go. There we go, Jupa Trooper. Mr. Mr. Cap. Never it's played vanilla Minecraft 11. over here. Jesus Christ. Like, nine-year-old me could have told you this was wrong. This time, our plan was different. We needed to keep as low profile as possible as we could be being watched at any moment. We weren't even going to touch shulker boxes this time. Yeah. Spawners have dupe IDs. If you dupe a spawner, you will get caught. We've learned that. We need to get that number up to like 6 billion. And so, then we're going to dupe a full inventory each and we're going to just drop them to people. That's our plan. So, let me explain. This server has a unique plugin where placing the same type of spawner next to each other makes them stack similar to mob stacking plugins. And then I'm going to delay packets. I'm going to get rid of that there. I'm going to spam left click. And it's going to have duped the stacked spawners. All right. And then and you place them. And now it's... Right. For example, this spawner right here is actually five zombie pigment spawners combined into one, meaning that five times what spawns from one spawner will spawn from it. When you mine these spawners with the silk touch pick we just got, you pick up a single item, which is actually all the spawners combined. All right. Delay peg is true. Get rid of that. Spam left click. Bunch of sold. So there were 9,500 now, and if we stack them, they're 134k. So we've gone from 9,500 spawners to 134,000 in mere seconds. So that means when we dupe them using the same method we used earlier in the video, we are effectively duping not single spawners, but multiple of whatever number of them we had stacked together. I'm gonna run it back. Watch this. You ain't ready for this. You ain't ready for this. Boom. Oh. Two million. million! Pigment spawners are quite valuable on the server, so much so that the only way you can get them is through gambling with a specific crate on the server, which requires a $6.60 USD key to even have a chance to obtain. Oh, 6.4 million. Oh, 45 mil. According to the auction house price, where players can sell items they own to other players, one of these pigment spawners is worth about 10 million in-game dollars. Oh, 1.2 bill. Oh, 20 bill. And while Boltop was still in the billions of dollars at the time, within three minutes, we had already obtained hundreds of billions of piglin spawners alone. Yeah, you call that L duping? I don't think so. Okay. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, wait, that's 300. How much? Oh, oh seven trillion. Seven so trillion. No, because it's 48. It, it don't matter. No, that's like hundreds of trillions of dollars. Yeah, but I'm just like, I'm like Mr. Breast or whatever. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> oh, no, bro. Oh, oh. Wait, what number is this? You don't want to do one Wait, quadrillion? I don't even know what number this is. We had so many spawners that we exceeded Minecraft's integer limit and therefore rolled back over into the negatives, supposedly spawning negative 758 million piglins at once. Dude, did you see that? Before you got before you got rid of the spawners, a negative number of zombie piglins spawned. But then disaster struck again. There's a mod, there's a mod, there's a mod. There's a mod. Oh, there's a mod. Master Sentinel was a mod. Did you did you see his name and slash message or what? We don't know well, his I don't know what his IGN is. Alright, he's still on, so he's probably watching us. Oh, where am I a snake though? Oh no, I got banned, yo, oh my fuck, yo, do it right now, bro. Come on, don't spawn, that's terrific. The staff had somehow caught onto our duping only eight minutes since we had started. We weren't going to risk failure once more, so me and Jupa rushed to spawn. We, he's actually he's just banned. Yo, I, dropped, I dropped, I dropped some, I dropped some, I dropped some, I dropped some. It do not matter. Did you get a full inventory? Yeah, yeah. Just drop it. I didn't. Drop it. I dropped a bunch. Matter, bro. I dropped a bunch, I dropped a bunch. Go to P-Warps and drop them in like donations. Drop in the hoppers, drop in the hoppers, drop in those hoppers. You can't even get back on my hoppers. Let me give it to this, let me give it to this TikTok guy. Dude, I got banned, like there's no fucking way he doesn't ban you in the next level. Dude, yeah, definitely not. There's a guy who's so obsessed with opening crates and even realized the amount of stuff I just dropped him. We had full stacks of 11 quadrillion spawners combined together. Each stack we dropped was worth, hold up, let me get out my calculators. Roughly seven septillion, 40 sextillion in-game dollars. And we were dropping multiple stacks of these. Someone's, someone, okay, so someone just itemed them in the chat, by the way. Oh, the new guys. There's oh, these guys have really get picking them up now. I don't matter. Oh, uh, dude, I think they just got cleared. The rest just got cleared from my inventory. Oh, they did. They did. Not Probably. Oh, I think I just got banned as well, oh, by the way, dude. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I just got banned. 
Oh, you did? Yeah. Wait, this guy still has some. Oh, yeah, okay. he does. I don't I some. Oh! Uh, Oh, there you go, Jeepa. So, as you saw, before we even started distributing the Jeep spawners, when we were completely silent and minding our own business on our island, one of us got banned, and after another five minutes of distributing, me and Jeepa would be banned as well. The staff was really on the ball, and we thought they'd actually managed to clear all of our Jeep to Piglin spawners. However, a few hours later, we would receive some screenshots from a player on the server who helped us. Some players who were fast enough to stash their items didn't get them cleared from their inventory. And while only a handful of players managed to keep these spawners, because of the overwhelming amount that were stacked, even one of these 11 quintillion spawner stacks remaining on the server could break the economy alone. These days, Loverfella Skyblock is kind of inactive, and whether that be due to us or something else entirely unrelated, I'm just glad I don't see anybody mindlessly opening crates and gambling anymore. Be sure to subscribe for more duping videos. Thank you all so much for watching.